Hello, welcome to CWI Part B. Part B Practical Book of Specification BOS Lecture. This is Lecture 13. Today I'm gonna give you a lecture about Chapter 4 and especially 4.2 Visual Inspection Acceptance Criteria. Last time I explained about repair and today is the visual inspection acceptance criteria. I'm going to read out the specification and give you the explanation. Visual inspection acceptance criteria 4.2. Any of the following indications are unacceptable. So 4.2, 4.22, 4.2.3 and others tier 4.2.7 any of these uh, indications if they are found they are reject so 4.2 point 4.2.1 cracks if you see cracks in the word month wherever the base matter or a heat effect is on that's reject no matter what you don't need to think about this crack this is reject 4.2.2 undercut undercut that is greater than 0.8 millimeter dip this also includes any other reduction of base matter at the word toes so undercut deeper than 0.8 millimeter is reject in chapter 2 and chapter 3 there are uh, criteria of this undercut but in chapter 4 just very simple just 0.8 millimeter dip so in actual CWI part B examination you need you need to measure this undercut depths so many times really many times so you need to uh, know how to measure this undercut 4.2.3 word reinforcement greater than specified in table 5 reinforcement and table 5 table 5 is the left column here is thickness of base matter which means we have a group word here and word month like this and this is this distance is the reinforcement and thickness of this is the base matter base matter thickness and thickness of base matter left column right column is maximum thickness of reinforcement for design temperature less than 175 degrees Celsius and between 175 degrees Celsius and 400 degrees Celsius and more than 400 degrees Celsius the reinforcement acceptance criteria the the thickness of the reinforcements is up to 3 millimeter if this is 3 millimeter three millimeter then the thickness of reinforcement is two millimeter when the design temperature is above 400 degrees Celsius but between 175 to 400 degrees Celsius um, reinforcement thickness limit is 2.5 it depends on the thickness and the temperature I mean design temperature and if the thickness of the base matter is between 5 and 13 so let's say this thickness is 8.75 millimeter and the design temperature of this word month is 
less than 175 degrees Celsius, then the thickness of the reinforcement is limit is 5 millimeter. So this is 5 millimeter. This 4.2.3 is very important because this question, this kind of question is in the actual CWIB part, part B question. So I'm going to show you the actual question later and I'm going to explain this note. A is the greater of 6 millimeter or 1 8 times of the width of the word. And A is, I'm going to erase everything. And here is note A. Over 50 millimeter base metal thickness, then the design temperature range is 175 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. Then the thickness of the reinforcement is according to, in accordance with, according to note A. And note A is the greater, the bigger one of 6 millimeter. So it can be 6 millimeter or 1 eighth times the width of the word. So widths of the word is word the face is like this and width is this distance thickness is 65 millimeter and width is let's say this is hmm, 10 millimeter then 10 times 1 eighth is I'm gonna use the calculator 10 times is 1.25 1.25 so greater greater is 6 millimeter or 1.25 when the thickness is 65 millimeter and width is 10 millimeter then 6 millimeter is bigger so choose this 6 millimeter as an acceptance criteria for uh, maximum re uh, reinforcement thickness and same here note A and note number 1, 2, 5 for double worded butt joint, double worded butt joint is like this. Word upside and back gouging and another word downward, downside. So this is double worded joint. This limitation on reinforcement given above should apply separately to both inside and outside surface of the joint. And what it means is here. So this is the cross section of the wordment of the double worded joint, and we have reinforcement here outside and reinforcement here inside. So criteria of the maximum reinforcement thickness should be should be applied here separately and there separately. Number two, for a single word butt joint, the reinforcement limits given above should apply to outside surface of the joint only. And what it means here, this is single butt word joint and word month like this. Then in this case, the reinforcement thickness should be applied criteria should be applied this side only not this side number three is the thickness of word reinforcement should be based on thickness of thinner of the material being joint and what it means is we have a different thickness of the word mat something like this and 
word month set up like this and thickness of this part is 45 uh, let's say just 50 and thickness of this part of the base matter is 65 then the reinforcement this criteria shall be based on thickness of thinner thinner so 65 and 50 the 50 is thinner so base uh, criteria should be should be followed by this line including 50 not this one not over 50 this is number three note number three number four the word reinforcement thickness should be determined from the higher of abutting surfaces involved there the reinforcement thickness should be measured from the higher abutting surfaces and number five is word reinforcement may be removed if so desired if so desired the reinforcement can be removed so this is 4.2.3 reinforcement and i'm going to show you the actual question about the reinforcement the question is like this examine the area between one and four the downstream and p4 when pressure piping application is applied pressure piping this is chapter four and when the pipe is on a surface the temperature is 150 degrees celsius and the thickness of the pipe is 8.7 millimeter is the reinforcement acceptable so thickness is 8.7 millimeter and temperature design temperature is 150 degrees celsius here so p4 and examine one and four one and four here and downstream here downstream and measure the thickness of the reinforcement at this part back to the uh, specification and thickness says 8.75 millimeter and the design temperature is 150 degrees celsius which is less than 175 degrees celsius so this five five is the uh, maximum thickness of reinforcement criteria so just apply this five millimeter so actually measure the reinforcement with undercut gauge vwec gauge using this kind of tool and if you measure this reinforcement the reinforcement is reinforcement is less than five millimeter so the answer is number three acceptable less than five millimeter this kind of question is in the actual CWI part b question so remember this one and 4.2.4 .4, lack of fusion if you see the lack of fusion in the pressure piping wordment that's reject and 4.2.5 incomplete penetration if you see the incomplete penetration ip in pressure piping that's reject 4.6 any other linear indications greater than five millimeter long any other indication other than ip lack of fusion and undercut cracks other than these uh, greater than five millimeter long that's reject so this, uh, acceptance criteria for pressure piping is very simple except this reinforcement very simple if it is existing that's reject okay 4.2.7 surface porosity with rounded indications having dimension greater than 5 mm or 4 or more rounded indications separated by 2 mm or less edge to edge in any direction rounded indications are indications that are circular or elliptical with their length less than 3 times their width okay i'm going to show you the picture 
give you a better explanation for this sentence sentences let's say this is word and this is base meter and surface porosity okay we have a surface porosity porosity rounded indication having dimension greater than five millimeter so indication rounded indication something like this and if this dimension of the porosity is over the diameter of porosity is over five millimeter that's reject which means less than five millimeter something like 4.8 millimeter this is acceptable or four or more rounded indications separated by two millimeter or less edge to edge in any direction so porosity one porosity number two porosity number three porosity number four and porosity number five and four or more rounded indication separated by two millimeter or less so this distance two millimeter and this is 1.8 millimeter and this is one millimeter and this is 1.9 millimeter so distance edge to edgy between edgy and edgy is two millimeter or less that's rejected for what for more four or more rounded indications this is 4.2.7 this is reject in any direction this is horizontal direction and vertical direction as well and rounded indications are indications that are circular something like this circular and elliptical with their length less than three times their width this is width and the length is eight. okay this is 4.27 and this is the last sentence of the um, chapter 4 um, workmanship requirement and visual inspection acceptance criteria for pressure piping Okay, I'm gonna stop here today and next time, next lecture, I'm gonna give you the lecture of five, chapter five, procedure qualification requirements, WPS and PQR qualification. Uh, thank you for listening to my lecture and I'll see you next time.